What's the deal, Viral Gang? We back at it, man. Shout out the whole Viral Gang, man. Y'all got us going crazy in the algorithm, man. Share, like, subscribe to the channel. If you ain't subscribed, hit that subscription button. Today, we got to get into it. We got more music news. West Coast veteran, hip-hop legend, Ice Cube is back. Hmm. He put the politics down. He picked the mic back up. He just dropped a new song and dropped a video to it. It's my ego. What do we think about this song? <laughs> I'm going to let you start. I got my thoughts on it. We're going to get right into it. I think Ice Cube at this point needs to stick to politics and make him, and make him movies. Um, that's how I feel about it, man. I think Ice Cube is at an age right now where... <laughs> You done done everything, man. You done you done had. I mean, you know, we grew up on, on on albums like Death Certificate, where it was like classic, classic shit. Like I feel like your legacy is cemented. You made movies. You you've been a juggernaut in the industry on both ends. At this point, the music it's not. I'm not gonna say it's hurting you, but it's just like, mm, what is that for? Really, like I'm not rocking with it. I don't. How many times did you play the song? I played it. Two, three times, and every time I, I didn't like it at all. Like, I'm going to be honest. I, I, I felt like it was just... It wasn't a grower? It just sounded like... Pause. In, uh, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I don't even do the pause, but that was yeah. crazy. <laughs> hey. Hell no. The song no. didn't grow on you. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but I felt like it was just... The rhymes to me, it just felt... It felt like somebody older trying to... Being the newer generation, it don't. It's like he couldn't catch the tempo or the or the flow or the rhythm. Something about it was just off. It just sounded delayed to me. Just sounded like an older nigga rapping right now. Yeah, I one listen that's to not. It. You know, I'm gonna say this. Let me start with the positive criticism. <laughs> <laughs> the lyrics, I like what he was talking about. The subject matter. You're always gonna get solid subject matter from Ice Cube. Thanks. A lot of shit he said went over people's head. He said, I'm here to battle the reptilians and the mm. that went over niggas' heads. Niggas didn't even catch what he was saying. Because okay. you know, he'd yeah. been in his political bag. So to hear him talking about the, the reptilians and the greys and the okay, he got his third eye intact still. Mm -hmm. he, he was really talking about a lot of shit. Um, you know, he was breaking down the rap game. Like I said, I listened to it maybe once or twice because I'm sorry, I love Cube, classic legend, but he gotta get with the times. This is a time where if you a vet and you're going to come back, you got to get with the new production. You got to get with the updated production. I know what he was going for, that classic Cube West Coast sound, but that shit is dated. Yeah. It's, it's dated. I'm sorry. If all the music you put out already, that's classic because it came out in the era it was supposed to. Mm -hmm. You got to get with the times. That's you how feel I felt me? about it. You yeah. should have got one of these new up and coming hot ass producers. Got a dope-ass beat. Shit, you should have went and got mustard on the beat. Fuck it. That would have been crazy. You feel me? That yeah. would have been crazy. Another Hot Like Us type beat or, you know, anything. He could have went to, um, shit, Alchemist. He just won producer of the year. Facts. It's a lot of producers. Kanye, go get Kanye and get in. That's a crazy collab. Kanye yeah. and Cube. But it was just, the sound was just outdated. The flow was outdated. I think he needs to speed up his flow, show different cadences, or be more aggressive like the Cube of old. And maybe he just been living too damn good off these movies for yeah. a while. I mean, it's ring rust. That's just all it is. It just looked like it's ring rust. I think if he go lock in, do a couple more songs that rust to get off, get some hotter production, Cuba drops some fire. Yeah, I mean, he had some shit in 2018. He had a couple songs off that 2018 album. I don't, I don't got the name of the album right now, but it had a couple of slaps on there, so... Cube, you're you're right. If he if he goes and locks in, he can he can still make good quality music. But that right there for me wasn't doing it. It was just like, and in the video, like Mike Epps and shit, they at the church. It's like first Sunday and shit again. I'm like, <laughs> I actually what? like the video. I'm a fan of videos. I'm a fan of creative videos. Chief Keith changed the video game. See, and this is what we kind of grew. <laughs> we see niggas with. AKs are sitting in the living room, like. See, Chief Keith, he <laughs> altered and changed the video game. Because before, you had to get the big-ass Hollywood producer, the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Special effects. Like, the music video itself had to be a movie. Then Chief Keith come with the iPhone, and they just 14 niggas in the, in the living room with blicks. <laughs> and that shit get millions of views, so that's what everybody started doing. Yeah. So, to bring back the creativity of music videos, 
was dope to me. Okay, that's you went and got Mike Epps. That's your day one. Y'all done done movies together. Y'all done done skits together. That's the homie. You feel me? So to bring him back on your return, that was dope. He did the, the dress up thing, playing different characters, got back in his actor producer bag. Mm. That was dope. The video was hot. It's just the song itself was outdated. Even the quarters. It's my ego. Shit, that was crazy. Like, come on, bro. Like, we need some more. You feel me? We, we need something, something a little yeah, more updated. Give us something, man. That's Maybe even was... go get one of these new young niggas and let them do the yeah, chorus. You something, feel me? Something, something. But switch that shit up, bro. You got to get with the times. And that's one of the things when you get so successful, it's hard to stay with the times mm -hmm. because you're living in a whole nother universe. So this is oftentimes why you got to get back with the youth to get tapped in with what's going on now. Because all I can hear is, man, don't nobody want to hear that shit, unk. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, any young niggas gonna be playing that shit? Probably not. That's definitely for the for the older niggas for sure. I think that's true. You got to tap back in, and then you get that you get that um that privilege though to be in a different world where people kind of like you're on your own planet, and people just praise whatever you do for so long to where it, it does come a point where you got to tap back in the youth because that fan base has gotten older, or maybe they aren't necessarily as interested as, as they were as they once were. So then you do have to channel that young energy again because those are the people that are consuming music. You know what I mean? I think at the links that they are and buying it and doing all the extra shit. So you he 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 missed me with this one. I, I just I just think he's getting a little older. Um he's definitely I, I, older. I love his political takes though. And I and I love the movies he makes. But for me right now with this particular song, I just I wasn't feeling it. See, Cube is 55 years old. So I don't want to say rap is a young man's game, but shit it's like not, this. Because you got older niggas. I mean, AZ still rapping. There's I know, but still shit rapping, like yeah. this is why they say what they say. Like, rap is a young man's sport. Really, it's about being locked in with the community. It's like one of those things where you got to play the game to, to be able to excel in the game. You can't take... 10 years off and just pick up a basketball think you finna go drop Kobe and LeBron numbers. Yeah, it's facts. not finna happen, bro. These young niggas, is it. they've been locking in. They've been putting in time. You, you're rusty right now. You feel me? You gotta knock that ring rust off. But this is also why you gotta give accolades to guys like Kanye who can still mm -hmm. come in and make amazing music at his age. <laughs> Lil Wayne who's older up in age and can make amazing music at his age. Snoop Dogg who has the, the cheat code. Yeah, He can still come in and drop something crazy. Even at his age right now. But they're still locked in with the youth. They're still locked in with the culture. Cuba seemed like he took a step back. I believe with, that, With yeah. the movies, the, the producing, and the, the politics. It I don't seem that. like he was locked in with the culture, and the sound reflected that. But shout out to Cube, man. Shout out Cube. Because I've been asking for the vest back. So I just think he just need to lock in. Get some new production. That's just the key to it. You get some hot production, it's going to spark... New ideas in your Yo brain, brain. And, and, and it's going to push you to make different flows and different cadences and reach different pockets. And you're going to create different sounds, more updated sounds. And, and that's, I think that's the push he needs. Fact. No, I agree with, I, I agree with that 100%. Shout out to Cube, though, man. The viral way. Bang.